On the 17th of October, the Rory Gallagher collection will go under the hammer at Bonhams in London. The highlight of the auction, without question, is Rory's iconic and instantly recognisable 1961 Fender Stratocaster. The guitar has a pre-sale estimate of 700,000 to 1 million pounds, but it may fetch much more. The sale has stirred up a lot of emotion, with many fans insisting that the guitar should remain in Ireland. But with such a prized instrument, there could be a number of high-profile bidders chasing the price up. So who might bid on the guitar? One of the hot favourites is billionaire Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Irsay. In recent years, Mr Irsay has put together an incredible collection of iconic instruments, including Eric Clapton's Fool Gibson SG, Dave Gilmore's Black 1969 Stratocaster, and Bob Dylan's Sunburst 1964 Stratocaster. Other interested parties might include Joe Bonamassa, who recently announced he would be playing at a tribute concert in 2025 to mark the 30th anniversary of Gallagher's passing. He is a long-time admirer of the Irish guitarist. It would certainly be a treat to see Joe strapping on the battered Gallagher Strat at the concerts. Sir Brian May is another Rory Gallagher fan. He has said on many occasions how magical it was when he and his friends would see Rory performing at the Marquee Club in London. He said how struck he was by the performances. Can you imagine Sir Brian bringing the Strat out to play a few Queen numbers? Rory's fellow countryman Bono and the Edge might be seen as outsiders to buy the guitar, but what a great thing it would be to see the guitar in the hands of another great Irish musician who might keep it on Irish soil. Elvis Costello is another great artist who has been noted as an early admirer of Rory Gallagher. Then there is Johnny Marr, who has played the guitar on several occasions. And then there is Slash, who is not only an admirer of Rory Gallagher's, but also a keen guitar collector with an amazing collection. Do you think the eventual buyer will be one of these? Such is the desire to see the guitar remain in Ireland that a crowdfunding page has been set up by Sheena Crowley, whose father, Mick Crowley, sold the guitar to the young Rory Gallagher in 1963. The price Rory paid back then was £100. Sheena sets out the case for buying the guitar in these words. My father Michael sold Rory Gallagher the famous iconic Strat over 60 years ago. The Strat and Rory's instrument collection will be going up for auction in October 2024. This guitar means so much to us in Cork and we need to become the custodians of that magical guitar. Rory has been the idol and inspiration to so many musicians in Ireland for half a century. We feel tied to him and the guitar is a symbol of what he represents for us. Once the news of the auction was released, I would say everyone in Cork and Ireland gasped with shock and surprise. But really, Rory's brother, Donal, has presented us with a fantastic opportunity by making the Strat and Rory's instrument collection available to us. The aim is to set up a music museum incorporating traditional and modern music, showcasing the marching bands, Cayley bands, show bands, rock bands, punk bands and so on. We have so much music heritage in Cork and there are hundreds of families with so many great stories and so much memorabilia that should be shared and displayed. There is huge potential for the city here the main attraction would be a dedicated Rory Gallagher section with an interactive theme to it. On one Facebook page alone, he has almost 500,000 fans, but there are lots more absolutely dedicated fans who would travel across the world to see it. Fans from as far as Japan, Iceland, Germany and so on 
would want the guitar to remain in cork. We will have to move mountains. Music is our culture. We should preserve it like a national treasure. A modern day Book of Kells, if you will. We need a space that preserves and honours the musicians of the past and provides and fosters musicians of today and the future. Rory was someone who pushed the boundaries even at a time when rock and roll was considered to be the devil's music. He gigged in places that were being bombed. He dedicated his entire life to it. We must do this for him because we got so much from him but we must also do it for our heritage. If 20,000 of us pledge 50 euros, or if 5,000 pledge 200 euros, we will meet the target. We could then approach the Department of Heritage, the City Council and wealthy benefactors to match the 1 million euros. If we don't make it to the target, all pledges will be refunded automatically. I think this is a cork thing but we welcome support from everyone, from Cork to Donegal and beyond. If you yourself think this is a worthy cause and you would like to see Rory's guitar remain on Irish soil, you might like to make a pledge yourself. As Sheila says, if the target is not met, all pledges will be refunded automatically. You'll find a link below.